Hey guys, so in this video, I'll be showing you how to use the same WhatsApp account on two separate different Android phones without constantly re verifying your number. So as you know, like if you uh, install WhatsApp on one phone and then download it on the other and set it up using your same number, you'll get signed out of your first phone. So you can't actually use uh, WhatsApp on two different two or more phones without constantly logging in and out again so i'll show you a little trick to bypass that okay so now the first thing to note is that this method works only on android it will not work on ios it will not work on windows phone it will not work on blackberry uh, if any of y'all still use that so it only works on android and no iphone and there are a few things to remember firstly this is a mod or a hack so it does contain bugs uh, WhatsApp is not made to work on multiple phones together. This is just like a kind of bypass which they haven't fixed. So it's a, as you can read, it's a mod, uh, it will have bugs. So please don't complain if some things don't work properly. This, is, this method is only intended for experienced users. So if you have any kind of questions such as what is root or can my phone be rooted or how can I root my phone or can I root my iPhone? No, sorry. This method is not for you. Please just exit this video right now. So one of the most important things here is that you're gonna need to have root access on your phone. So you can quickly check if you have root access or not after successful or not so successful attempt to root by downloading my free app. It's called Get Got Root. So once you download it from the Play Store, I'll have a link. You just launch it and here it says root access available. So that means your phone is successfully rooted and you can continue with this method. This is phone is not rooted. So once you launch the app, it will give you an error saying, sorry, your device is not rooted. So if that's the case and if it opens up this little Google search, then sorry, this method won't work for you. So now the first step is to simply download and install WhatsApp from the Play Store like you'd normally do. So just install WhatsApp directly from Google Play and set it up, sign in as you would usually do. So you can just launch it and probably just text a few people. Just I'll just show that as an example. So say like hi. So yeah. So once that's done, once you set it up your first phone, now this is my primary phone. So you can, uh, so after setting that up, the second step is to download Titanium Backup from the Play Store. That's free as well. So once you download Titanium Backup, uh, you can quickly launch it. It'll ask for root permissions over here. So you'll have to grant root access to Titanium Backup. That's why you require to have root on your phone. And just scroll down, find WhatsApp out here. It says here WhatsApp, no backups yet. Just tap that and click backup. Uh, it may say this, so you can just do okay. And just let it back up. Once it backs up, WhatsApp, it'll create a, it'll create three different files within your SD card under a folder named Titanium Backup. So what you have to do is copy that Titanium Backup folder and paste it or using a computer or anything, just transfer it and paste it on another device which also has root access and titanium backup installed. So as you can see, this phone also has root access. It says root access available. So just head over um, to this phone which is rooted, install titanium backup and copy the files from this phone to the other phone where you want to install WhatsApp as well. Right here, as you can see in my phone's internal storage, there's a folder called Titanium Backup, which has these three files. So what I want to do is copy these three files. Just save it somewhere on my desktop. So once the files are copied and you've gotten that taken care of, uh, as you can see here, if I scroll down, the titanium backup here are the three files located so now here's the slightly tricky bit you can't just re uh, you can't just restore them directly and expect everything to work the main flaw in this entire mod or hack 
is that uh, both the phones cannot be online at the same time. So that means if you want to use WhatsApp on one phone, you'll have to put the other phone on flight mode. Make sure that the first phone is offline before you restore this file. So this is the original phone which had WhatsApp. As you can see, it still does have WhatsApp. Same chats and everything. So I'm going to switch off this Wi-Fi and if possible, just better to just put on flight mode. So now you know the Wi-Fi and the 4G are disabled in the original phone. Here I already have WhatsApp installed on this phone. But if you don't see WhatsApp, it'll be right at the end. It'll be named com.whatsapp dot something like that. So just click WhatsApp here and do restore and you can either do app or data or just data. I already have the app installed, so I'll do only data. Or you can do OK. And again, it'll ask for super user permissions on this phone. As you could see the toast below, backup, titanium backup, data restore complete. So now you can easily open up WhatsApp. Start up focus. Just open up WhatsApp like you normally would. Again, it may take a while and there you go. So now the phone is connected to Wi-Fi and the chat is still remains and you can continue from this phone. And the message will send there you go and now if you want to go back to the original phone you'll have to disable the Wi-Fi in this phone like I told you two phones cannot be online at the same time so you're gonna have to disable the Wi-Fi in this probably just put on flight mode for safety and get the first phone back connect that to Wi-Fi And now you can open up WhatsApp. Now your messages, they won't be synced because WhatsApp again, it's pretty outdated and it doesn't support the syncing feature. So it's not gonna cloud sync your messages. So that's again another issue, but you can still continue here without any sort of verification problem. So you can just send something and there you go. As you can see, it's been sent. So all of these messages have been sent to the recipient. So now just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to show you what will happen if by mistake, even for one second, you connect both the phones online at the same time. So as you can see, this phone is connected to the internet and this is not. Now, once I connect this, it's going to show you an error because it's going to detect two simultaneous logins. So both of these will probably be logged out anytime now. Well, that's pretty strange. Okay, this is really strange. This should not be happening, but who knows? Maybe it's a new bug in their system again. But regardless, uh, just try not to keep both the phones online at the same time. And thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe uh, for more videos to come. Peace.